Well, Dustin, it was a beautiful night at the Jones this past Saturday as the Red Raiders defeated the Oklahoma Sooners 51 to 48 in overtime. Uh, that win gave us our seventh win of the season, gave us the outright fourth place uh, in the place. Big 12, place. fourth place, fourth place. place. Semi pro reference there, if y'all didn't catch that. Uh, gives us a winning record in Big 12 conference play, as we mentioned last week. The first time you could done that since 2009. Uh, and also another first time you've ever beaten Texas and Oklahoma in the same season. So a lot happening with that win. Uh, there was a lot riding on that victory. So Dustin, we were there. We were at the Jones. We rushed the field. Just what were your thoughts after that victory for the Red Raiders? It was a very big and emotional type win. You didn't feel like just a regular game. I mean, you had two, <laughs> two teams battling for six and five and seven and seven by the end of it. But it didn't feel like, it felt like an old school tech OU game with scoring and just how it went. And so it's cool to pull out an exciting, crazy victory like that. Another overtime win. It's your third overtime win at home this year. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of teams that can say that over the last few years that have pulled that off. And so huge win. Great win. I mean, especially to put OU at six and six. Also, just a little carry on top of it. Yeah, I mean, it was a wildly entertaining game. Yeah. Uh, in the first half, you know, first quarter, you, you were kind of like, first all right, it's, is this going to be the worst a... first quarter you've had all year? Yeah, especially at home. Um, I mean, at home, most of your first quarters, you've come out, you've been pretty competitive from the get go. It was horrible. Um, but Oklahoma got right out uh, and started, and you were just able to to fight back, get yourself back into the game before half, and then uh, win yourself kind of a shootout there in the second half, get to overtime, make the plays that you needed to, to win that game. And so it was just fun. It was a fun way to send a lot of these seniors off, a lot of guys that we've uh, you know, come to love over the years here and yep. guys who've earned. Have been here a long time. Been here a long time, and. <laughs> And haven't got to see these seven wins in a regular season, you know. Haven't got to a see lot, a lot of things for the first time since 2009. Yeah, when you had Leach, so it spans your previous three head coaches. McGuire did in his first year. I mean, he had a home winning record, conference winning record, beat Texas OU for the first ever time. There was like a couple other things you've done for the first time in 13 plus seasons. Like pretty damn crazy to do all that. Yeah, and you get to send the double T scoreboard off with a, with a victory as we retired the double T scoreboard. There will be a new one coming, but you get to send the old one off into retirement with a win. But yeah, it was just a great night uh, for Texas Tech fans to, to get that win in the fashion that you did um, and to just kind of celebrate all the accomplishments of Joey McGuire in year one. You know, we we predicted seven and five before the season, it's Dustin, and we we go seven and five. We don't get a lot of predictions right here, but we nope. got that prediction right. It just, it just felt good. It was a great night. It was really fun. Um, a well-earned victory. You're happy for all these seniors to get to leave the Jones on their last night with a win over a team that they haven't gotten to beat uh, in their career here. So. Catch y'all at the next tailgate.